Hello everybody, we are live here from Las Vegas with Adobe Max. 12,000 creatives have joined us to learn more about Creative Cloud products, Lightroom, Photoshop, some big releases this week. We also are talking about Document Cloud and how cool Document Cloud is to help creatives streamline their processes and focus more time on their creativity. I'm lucky enough today to be standing here with Brittany Melhoff. Hey guys. She's joined us to talk a little bit more about how she does creativity and how Document Cloud actually helps her do creativity. So thank you, Brittany. We're so happy to have yeah. you here. Thanks for having me. How Jeff. has your Max been so far? It's been so amazing. Today's keynote, like Jonathan Adler, first of all. Yeah, I'm oh like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was pretty amazing. That was so cool. Um, I've just loved everything so far. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. My first Max, your first Max. Yes. We're kind of experiencing it together. It's been great. Yes. Um, we're so best for life now. We're so. best friends. Uh, friends forever. Don't be jealous. It's fine. <laughs> so let's talk about your creative process. Yeah. We're here at Creative Conference talking about things that people are doing to be creative. What is your process like and kind of what projects have inspired you? Okay, so I do a lot of DIY projects um, and also a lot of interior stuff. Awesome. So room makeovers are probably like my number one thing. And I'm hiring you for that next. Yes, I said I'm gonna come to your house. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> um, so I think one of my favorite projects recently, well, not that recent, but my most favorite project has been um, my home office. Awesome. It was like a small space that I really took my time with and I think it uh, transitioned over time. We lived there for several years and okay. now I have my own studio and we don't live there anymore so it's kind of sad yeah. but I still think back on it all the time. It inspires you even to this day. That's fantastic. Yes, it was one of the first times I painted a, like a half painted wall oh, okay. and I do that all the time now. It's yeah. in my studio. You had to try it out on your own space a little bit yeah. and now you're doing it across all your projects. Yeah. That's awesome. So let's talk about your creative process. You know, How do you start, complete, do things all throughout the process, and really, what do you do when you're in kind of a creative rut? You know, if you aren't finding that inspiration, where do you go to find it again? Okay, so my number one tip for if you are in a creative rut would be to get your mind off of it and do something completely different. So for me, um, I live in Atlanta. My studio's on the Beltline, which is like oh, this yeah. cool walkway in Atlanta. So I'll go for like a really long walk and just try to clear my head. Yeah. And that's usually, fingers crossed, <laughs> pretty helpful for me. I think just getting my mind off of something yeah. that is usually when you can't think of ideas, it really starts to stress you out yeah. and it doesn't free up your mind to like actually create the thing yeah. that you need to do. So that would be my number one tip. Yeah. yeah. Or just change gears, like focus on something entirely different. Yeah. So if you're doing something creative and you can't figure it out, maybe move to something that's more like analytical or data. Work on some of your billing. Yeah. Really fun stuff <laughs> really that you're going to talk about. Right. Yeah, and actually that's a great segue because I wanted to talk a little bit about Document Cloud, yeah. but more around how Document Cloud helps you collaborate. Yes. Um, working with your fans, working with your partner, what kind of things are you doing right now around collaboration? Yes, so most recently I worked with Adobe Scan. Well, I never even heard of Adobe Scan. I know, well, I could tell you all about <laughs> Please it. Please do. It's so amazing. Um, so I have a, a wonderful lady named Corey Moss, she's an artist and she also does hand lettering and she collaborated with me on this project cool. um, and so basically we're in the studio and I wanted to create like free printables oh, cool. using Adobe Scan That's for my audience. Very creative, I yeah, love it. Yeah, so people could print it out at home, uh, put it on their wall, whatever they want to do with it. So we came up with three different quotes and I did all of the paint, like custom paint colors, I mixed everything. I My background is as an artist so I have to be involved in the paint <laughs> and the color and stuff. Get your hands dirty. Yes, yeah. color is like so important to me and if I don't have paint on my hands I don't know what it's I not, did that day. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway she did the lettering for it and then I just took photos of it with Adobe Scan, turned it into PDFs and then it was available for people to just click and download on That's my blog. such a cool idea. I love yeah. it. And so how'd that go? Did your audience like it? Like yes. And it's still available to download if you want to check it out. If you go to paperandstitchblog.com and search for Adobe, and I'm gonna you will do that, find so it. Yes, one. there are three different printables that you can print out and do whatever you want. That's with. Totally such a free. cool idea. I've never heard of people using Document Cloud in that way before. Yeah. Very innovative. I use it for several things, but I love the creative side yeah, of it. Yeah, that too. was really cool. Well, speaking of the other things that you do, creativity yeah. is, is your lifeblood. And a lot of people here have that as their lifeblood too. But there is that behind the scenes. Yeah. Every creative is running their own business and they're doing things like billing and contracts, administrative yeah. work. 
So how do you manage that side of your job? And more specifically to this conversation, how does Document Cloud help you do those things that maybe aren't as exciting as painting? Yes, okay, so that is um, a subject that is like, I just want to be able to do all of those things for my business. Like I am a business owner. I have a lot of things that I have the wheel turning on and yep. it's really important to focus on that side, but it's not exciting to me. And I didn't go to business school. I need all the help that I can get yeah. on that side of things. So anything that I can use that will make my life simpler in terms of that kind of stuff yeah. is great for me. That's fantastic. Um, so I use Adobe um, Send a Signature, Send for signature Either way. okay <laughs> um, for like model release forms and contracts that I need to have signed uh -huh. it's a really awesome way to just quickly get a signature from me or I can send it to somebody else to get a signature awesome. um, and we were talking earlier yeah. about like some of the features of that you have all of the history of that document you yes. know where it's been you know who's seen it yes um, God forbid a model came to argue something about that you have you know, every step of the process documented in an audit trail. Which yeah, is really, really which is so cool and helpful. Worst case scenario, and hope it never happens for you, but if it did, you have that security. Yes, and I think I said earlier that I would do a Z-snap on them and be like, sorry, I already have all this audit all info. Yeah. yeah, good luck. I think that'd be, that would hold up in court by itself, honestly. Yeah. You need the audit trail if you have the Z-snap. Yeah. That's all you need. That's fantastic. Any other things that really help facilitate how your business runs? Yes. So um, I have an accountant, which is really helpful. Anytime I can like pass stuff off to someone really else, nice. I am always into that. The numbers. Yes. But on that side of things, one thing I still need to keep track of is receipts. So I buy so much stuff for paper and stitch, um, props, wardrobe, home decor stuff, everything. Uh, tons and tons of stuff. Yeah, and a lot of that stuff is able to be written off, so I keep all my receipts, and then I just kind of like keep them in a little baggie, so professional. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> yeah, it works great. Yeah. And then at the end of each month, I just go through, take everything out, and scan it in Adobe Scan, so I just take pictures of that. That way I have digital copies nice. in case something happens. And I can um, like search via keyword for those receipts later, yeah, which is so amazing. That's so nice. If you like, if your accountant said, "Hey, you bought some, you know, woodworking stuff back on the 15th. What was that? What was the store? You can search woodworking in Acrobat and find that document. Yeah, it's so awesome, especially because I travel so much. Yeah. Like, if my accountant did have a question, I you obviously may not even be don't in town. have. Yeah, yeah, and I don't have my receipts with me, so. And if I did, I would have to funnel through so many to find yep. it. So that keyword search is like one of my favorite yeah, things. Yeah, having them all online, accessible wherever you are, because you do yeah. travel quite a bit. Yes. And able to be searched, that's that's pretty, that helps you get rid of that like long paper process and focus more on your creativity. Yes. Yeah, that's so nice. Speaking of traveling, we know yeah. you're an avid traveler. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about tips for while you're on the road. You know, what do you do to keep your business side moving while you're traveling for your creativity? Yeah, so this year, for all of 2017, I started a series called 12 Trips in 12 Months. Nice. So every single month, I vowed that I would uh, travel at least once. And I think every month this year, I've traveled at least twice. So oh, nice. I'm doing pretty you're well. You're like, wait, 24 trips in 12 months. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's been really great for me, but it is kind of hard, obviously, if I'm traveling so much. I still have to run my business. For yeah. the most part, it's still just me. I have two very awesome ladies that help me out, Jess and Corey. Shout but, out. Eh, <laughs> um, but a lot of it is still on my plate. So yeah. for me, I think scheduling as much stuff as possible ahead of time okay. is really helpful. So I've been traveling every week for the last five weeks, I think. Wow. Yeah. So Including to Vegas. Yes. I'm so excited. Um, this is my last stop for that's, a little bit, so nice. which is really cool. Yeah. Um, but we did so much stuff in between. I was home for like two days and we would shoot a ton of stuff. And then I would edit it on the plane or, um, you know, stay up late and do yeah. stuff. You know, like I think where you have time, you find time. Yes. And I think that you just have to know ahead of time, like, if you're traveling and you run your own business and it's just you, that means you're probably going to be up late yeah. working on content and stuff Trying to, before you, know, you go. Trying to sit in a plane seat with the computer and work on the plane. Yes, yeah. I love my trips from like 
uh, east coast to west or vice versa because nice, they're at like least six four hour hours. Window. Yeah. yeah, four hours, six hours. And then I just work the entire time, so I'll edit photos on Lightroom, do stuff on Photoshop. Lightroom, great choice. Yes, I do all my editing on Lightroom and Photoshop. That's so. fantastic. It's really great to hear about how you are scheduling your time so well because it must be such a stressful environment to like know that you're like you're relying on yourself to get all of this stuff done yeah and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it like it's not super easy and it doesn't always get done yeah so you just have to like give yourself a little bit of room to like be okay with that yeah. I guess and if you know I didn't get a social media post up today like okay I'll try it's again not the tomorrow end of the world. Instagram yeah like, let me schedule in Instagram. advance please Let's talk about some more fun parts of your trip. Yeah. You've traveled a ton, 24 trips in 12 months. I'm giving you a new name for your <laughs> series. Perfect. Um, what's been like the most inspiring place for you? Where have you really felt those creativity flow? So London is one of my favorite uh, places on the planet. Choice. We were just there last month. And awesome. it is just such an inspiration for me. I love going into all the shops and just like looking to see what products are in Europe right What's now, different it's so from here. different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's similar, but there are certain things that you just can't get or aren't easy to access here. Yeah. So it's really awesome to, you know, explore see. and like see the new designs, probably. Yeah. And like, it's just so different. Yes. And how was your trip to London in last month? It was so good. It was, we've been there a couple of times and this was the best trip. So. That's so exciting. Yeah. I'm jealous because I've not been there for over a year and so I got to go back. You have to. I really do. So you use Document Cloud products, you use Adobe Scan, you yeah. use Send for Signature mm -hmm. and Acrobat, and those things give you a lot of time back, it sounds like. Yeah. You, you know, you're not sifting through receipts, you're not mailing off letters to get signed, you're okay. able to look at models right away, whatever yeah. you're doing. So if you had even more time in a day, is there like a special project back of your mind, back burner, you've always mm -hmm. wanted to take some time on? Like what is kind of your dream project you want to take on? There are so many projects, you guys. <laughs> um, I wish that there were more than 24 hours in a day yeah. or that I could like figure out a way not to sleep and still Don't be like a normal human um, without drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, there's a particular project that I've been dying to finish up, which is the kitchen renovation for my studio space. Oh yeah. Uh, if I get that <laughs> done ever, and it's gonna be a really good day. And you've been traveling the last five weeks, so you have, you have not been there to work on it. Yeah, it's just orchestrating a lot of stuff yeah. and it is, it's been a challenge. So that it's is number one on my list. work in progress, I guess. Yes, yeah. an infinite work in progress. <laughs> infinite work in progress. I have plenty of those myself. Don't worry, I think we're all okay. in the same boat. So I got one more question for you. It's gonna be a heavy hitter. <laughs> if you were to give, you know, a couple of pieces of advice to someone wanting to start their own creative business, yeah. what would those pieces of advice be? <sighs> This is like Narrow such, it down, I know, right? like, no pressure, Brittany, but can you just like <laughs> sum it up? So um, I would say, first of all, I've been doing this since 2008, but I am still learning every day. Yeah. I don't think that there is a person out there that's running their own business that's going to tell you, I have it all figured out. This is all you need to do, and you're going to be great. It just yeah, doesn't, possible. at least for me, does not exist. So you have to be willing to get out of your own way. Yeah. I think just getting started is really helpful. Um, I know countless people that say like, oh, I really want to start a blog, but I just want to get everything perfect before I send it out, yeah. like post, post anything live. And meanwhile, six months later, you still haven't posted anything yeah. and you could have still been waiting. like gaining traffic and yeah. stuff like that. So I think just getting out of your own way and actually publishing things or shipping things as everyone likes to call yeah. it. Um, and then done is better than perfect yeah. is a motto that I try to live by. It's really hard not to be a perfectionist, especially as an artist and stylist. I just see like, oh my gosh, that picture. Like, one thing yeah, I just need to move that an inch over every single photo. I've never looked at a photo and said like, I nailed that. Perfect. Man, I am amazing. I just like that doesn't <laughs> you are happen. Amazing, but... Thank you. <laughs> that doesn't happen. So I think just, you know, getting it out there. Just you have don't to worry about perfection. That, yeah. It's gonna look great. Yeah. And you're always gonna find a reason to try and redo it, but you can't always spend that much time on something. Right, and I think my final thing would be adapting to change. So yeah. since I started in 2008, so many things have changed in the blogging <laughs> <couple> things. atmosphere. <laughs> Instagram. Um, Instagram, and then like YouTube is such like a huge thing that, oh God, everyone needs to be doing video yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot and it can be super overwhelming, but you have to be willing to adapt to those changes yeah. or it's gonna be really hard to be successful. Yeah, you have to really be looking for like the next big thing too and prepping for it, I feel like. Just yeah. watching for 
oh, now it's going to be Instagram. Oh, now there's Snapchat stories. Well, now there's this and that. And you have yeah. to kind of know what fits your brand as well. Yeah. You're building a brand. You're working on your creative methods. And not everything's going to fit in either. So it's just a lot to yes, think about. Yes, that's so true. So not everything is going to fit every person. Yeah. So if you really don't like one social media outlet, don't use it. Yeah. Or if you don't feel like your audience isn't thought. on there, don't bother. You yeah. know, spend your time on the things that you really think are going to be beneficial to your business and the things that you really like. So yeah. like for me, it's visual. I love Pinterest. I love Instagram. That's where my audience is and that's where I spend the most time. Yeah. Um, Facebook and Twitter are great outlets as well. But you have to know where your audience is and... And respond and, to where they are. Yeah, Yeah, totally. That's awesome. That's such great advice. I feel like I could go home today <laughs> and start a creative business. I don't know what I would do because my creativity is like building workflows. So, but We'll I, figure something out. I got you. We'll collaborate on yes. it. Yeah. I'll scan you some ideas and send them over. I'll do the paint for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Stay tuned for our new business together. In the meantime, <laughs> check out Brittany online, your blog. Uh, Paper and Stitch. You can find it at paperandstitchblog.com. And we're so grateful that you came to visit with us. Thanks Hope for the rest of your me, max Joe. is great. Thank and you. And thanks for spending some time with me today. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Thanks, everyone. Have a